to address joint pain like medications or special injections, but sooner or later, those knees and hips can just give out. And that leaves many people giving up on many of the activities they used to enjoy. Joint pain stopped our next guest in her tracks, but today she's feeling great. Welcome back, Dr. Stephen Brown with Park Plaza Hospital to tell us what made the difference. And Catherine Bond, who had the procedure done just about a month ago? Uh, four weeks tomorrow. Yeah, four weeks tomorrow. Okay, so... <laughs> Before the break, I mentioned that you wouldn't believe how our next guest, like, injured her knee, right? And this is kind of one of, it was like, it's like a Hollywood script. Okay, tell us, <laughs> tell us what happened here. Uh, I was preparing for a, we call ourselves the Manila Mamas, and I was hosting the Houston City back in 2004. Mm -hmm. Just made uh, reservations at a wonderful restaurant, walking to my car. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, blue sky, gorgeous afternoon. And I'm, all, I'm into my car, this Montrose and Sol Ross, if you're familiar with that area. And I've opened the door. I'm pulling the door closed, putting the key to the ignition. When I feel the door jerk open and a young man with a cheap serrated blade knife, one of those, you know, with a wooden yeah. handle. And he comes in and he puts it to my throat and he says, get out of the car. Now, you would think someone would get out of the car, and it irritated me. It made me angry, and so I fought him. You took him on, and in the process, that's how you injured your knee. Now, you get all kinds of people step off of curbs wrong. People sometimes it's just arthritis. Had you ever heard anything this like that before? Yeah. This is a first. <laughs> right. So just goes to say there, there are all kinds of ways, and she fought him, and she won, by the way. So, yeah, there are all kinds of ways that we can damage our knees. Before the break, we were talking about uh, just kind of some advances in, in medicine. So if we saw our parents get those knee replacements, sometimes we saw a long recovery, a uh, very painful recovery, a little bit different today. Absolutely. Knee replacements today are very different than they were 40, 50 years ago. And because of these uh, advances in technology and computerization and, and other advances, we can have patients up on their feet much more quickly, out the door much more quickly. Even 15 years ago, patients would spend weeks in the hospital before they went home. Yeah. Catherine goes home, I think, after two or three, three days. It was I three believe. days. Yeah. And, of course, that cuts down on costs for both, you know, patients, the whole system, uh, you know, being out of the hospital much sooner, but also less trauma to the body with these techniques. Absolutely. And uh, Catherine's specific case, we used a special knee called the signature knee, mm -hmm. which is computerized. Mm -hmm. We took an MRI of her knee beforehand. We fed the data into a computer, which allowed me to plan in advance the exact specific cuts I would be making on her bone. Prefabricated uh, plastic models were then made of her knee and of the special cutting guides we would use to allow me during surgery to place those guides on her knee and cut specific amounts of bone which we planned beforehand. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of information there, but you liked the fact that he explained to you this information. You know, oftentimes I think we, I we let doctors tell us what they're gonna do and we just shake our heads and say okay, but you, you found this relationship really beneficial to, to you even choosing him as your doctor. It, it was the turning point. It made me choose him because I knew that he was going to tell me exactly what was going to go in here and what I was going to have to do to exercise this. Yeah. I, I, you know, otherwise it was just going to be hocus pocus. Yeah. No, well, no, no. I have to know. And how did you find out about Dr. Stephen Brown, I might ask? I am a faithful Great Day Houston watcher. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a point she made about how you explained it made sense to her. So the person who would come in for an actual total knee replacement is who? What kind of candidate would do that when there are other things that might can you can deal with, like I mentioned right. injections earlier, pain medications right. earlier? A person who's a candidate for a total knee replacement is somebody who has severe arthritis in their knee, end stage, meaning it's bone on bone, mm -hmm. most likely from osteoarthritis, which is simply wear and tear of the knee. Mm -hmm. And somebody who has already tried anti-inflammatory medications, exercise, physical therapy, injections, and so forth. Yeah, and your day-to-day -day routine is just completely exactly. interrupted. Exactly. Once your activities of daily living are significantly impacted and you're in pain, which is not alleviable by other methods, then it's time to consider a knee or hip replacement. Yeah, and how long do they last today, do we know? They last 10, 20, 30, 40 years. They wow. hopefully last the rest of your life. Right, right. And then, of course, we talked about the recovery, which, you know, the other thing, too, by doing it this way, uh, less risk of things like infections and all, so just a, a safer way of doing it. So do the process. You were gone in three days. Were you able to get up and walk? Um, they had me on what I call my little, my granny walker, the two-wheeler. Uh-huh. 
jobby. My husband put a basket on the front of it, so I was able to carry my cell phone and snacks and move around the house. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was up until, oh, Dr. Brown wanted me to stay on that a little extra to make sure that my walk was heel toe uh -huh. and not this, which thank you, I, I got that. So now I'm brand new on a cane. Yeah, and walk, it, about, walking month. around out of pain, right? Out of pain. The surgery, the stitches, yes, they're swelling, and there's going to be stiffness, yeah. that kind of pain. But, but I don't the feel the in. other one, gone. Yeah. That was gone instantly. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for explaining it to us because, again, if you saw your parents go through something like this or another family member years ago, just know that things have changed because putting it off longer can really kind of just cause more damage, right? Right. Absolutely. It's, you know, if you're having a lot of pain, if you're not able to do what you enjoy, why wait? Yeah. All right. Well, for more information on Dr. Brown and Park Plaza Hospital, call 713-527-5000, 713-527-5000, or log on to parkplazahospital.com. Thank you very much.